Aries, welcome to your January reading. We finally got to the fire babies. I have 40% fire in my char chart. I have a, a Sagittarius stellium. So I feel very cozy and comfortable in fire and fire energy. Uh, the readings so far for January has been incredibly beautiful. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, you know, this year is incredible. So far, it's going to be incredible. It already is. So claim that energy for yourself. Um, I have here some angel decks. I've been really strongly guided to use these decks for the January readings and working with, with uh, some specific angels like Archangel Jeremiah, Zachiel, Metatron, Gabriel, Shamuel, Raphael, and Michael. So um, they're always here. They're, they're here right now. Uh, Master Jesus showed up the other day in a reading, felt his energy really strongly. Um, that's the dailies that um, I post uh, um, every day, every morning. So um, if you're on a true love journey with somebody, you might definitely want to check out uh, those, those, those messages. Aries, uh, I love your energy. My uh, cousin, which is like a brother to me, he's an Aries. My my father that passed away in 2020 from COVID is also was an Aries. I always feel his energy very strongly when I do an Aries reading. Um, my oldest son has an Aries rising. Speaking of, this is going to be for Aries sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. So um, I'm excited to see what the energy is going to be, the message and the guidance for January for you guys. If you guys are new, welcome to the family. If you're returning, welcome back. And uh, thank you all so much for your love and for your support. Every time you click like, share, and subscribe, it does help the message to reach more people. It helps our community to grow. That's how we can support each other. So thank you so much. All right, let's get started. I'm going to say my prayer. And then we're going to get started with your message for January for Aries. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you so much for being here. And may this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. When I was right now in my prayer, I heard the angels say, slow down. Okay, so slow down. Let's see how this is going to play out this message <laughs> i am going to split the deck here let's get the main energy for january for aries okay split the deck we have archangel air ariel peaceful warrior wow if that's not aries energy i don't know what is right look at all this fire look at all this orange this yellow yellow is solar plexus energy okay solar plexus is fire element so um we have thank you um ariel for helping me stand my ground with peace so there's something you're being asked to set some boundaries with and stand your ground about okay in january so um there there are uh affirmations to help you to become even more stronger in setting boundaries that's how we heal codependency okay you heal codependency a little more every time you set a boundaries and you stand your ground and you stand up for yourself with love and with peace okay that's you feeling more empowered having more inner peace having more personal power self-confidence more self-worth okay trusting your instincts and your gut feeling okay what else anything else for aries anything else for aries for january split the deck we have trust your inner voice and count your blessings so okay oh i love this 
off to a great start. So you guys are, um, first of all, you're being heavily guided right now by your intuition. That's your solar plexus as well. Okay. Um, listen to your inner voice. Thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice. So uh, it's important not only that we, you know, listen to what what's being said to us by our angels spirit guides ascended masters deities gods goddesses deceased loved ones you know um whoever you pray to ascended masters here right um but it's also important that you you know get into your warrior spirit here and um and, and have the courage and the confidence to to follow right what your inner voice is is guiding you towards because the universe your angels, your spirit guides, your deceased loved ones, your ancestors is trying to guide you towards your blessings, towards your miracles, towards your uh, desired outcomes, towards what you are worthy and deserving of, towards your wish fulfillment, towards, you know, your happiness, towards joy, towards peace, right? So um, it's important that we release resistance, get our minds and our hearts in the same space, the same page, right? And, um, and follow that. I'm also getting that right now, you guys may be scripting, journaling, writing down everything you're grateful for, right? And, or, or saying it out loud or feeling it, doing a gratitude affirmation or a gratitude list. Okay. Um, count your, count, count your blessings even before they arrive or, or thank, uh, be grateful for everything. Appreciate and be grateful for everything you have right now in the present moment. Okay. So count your blessings. Thank you universe and angels for the blessings in my life. So blessings are being showered upon you right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Interesting. Remember, I told you guys in the beginning that I just saw this card um, as if it's a, I just saw a message for me here and I'm not even in Aries. Um, but remember, I told you guys that my, um, my, my father is one of my spirit guides. He passed away. He's in Aries. Um, I, I don't know why I just saw that that's, that's him whispering in my ear. <laughs> that's a beautiful message. So thank you for that. Thank you for that spirit. Um, but anyways, it, it, that could mean something to you guys as well. Okay. You may have a deceased loved ones that, that, you know, that is one of your spirit guides. They're guiding you right now as well. All right, Archangel Michael, what else here for Aries? I split the deck. We have deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good. But the details need work. Reflect a bit before moving forward. So again, your inner voice, you're being guided here. Okay, so sit in silence and stillness to quiet. You know, um, Aries is ruled by the head, right? The crown. So you guys could be in your heads a lot. Um, release your fears. Okay, I just heard. Um, you know, today I had, a, I had a message when I was on the treadmill. And it was very clear. It said, uh, the, I, I actually noted it. And I feel when I saw this card, that's what I heard. Hold on, let me, I wrote it down on my, on my notes. Um, right here, stop holding on to people that the divine is forcibly, forcefully removing from your life. Okay. So, um, that when I see this card, yeah, like I said, take control. Exactly. Wow. Can't make this stuff up. Look at this. Let go, right? Let go. Let go because when I see Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, is, you know, comes when Archangel Michael is here showing up in your energy, that means you're being protected. That means that with that comes severing of cords, severing of ties. That means things and people are being removed. Obstacles are being removed. Negative energy is being removed. Toxic energy is being removed. Okay. You're being realigned. Okay, to, to, there's a, uh, uh, yeah, especially with you setting boundaries here, you know, standing your ground, that means that when you're, you're, there's some self-love here that's taking place, okay? If you do work with Archangel Michael and you call Archangel Michael in, Archangel Michael is letting you know, I'm here, I'm helping you, I'm helping you to let go, okay? Take, take your power back, take control of your thoughts, I just said that, quiet your mind, go into stillness and silence and meditation, even though you can't see it, I'm actively working on this situation, I'm here helping you, when you call Archangel Michael in, get ready, get ready for, for not only, Archangel Michael helps you in a couple different, lots of different ways, one of the ways is these, this guidance here, okay, 
um, our, the angels can, can, Archangel Michael can protect you from, um, ex, you know, external uh, negativity, right? Coming to your direction. But when it comes to your free will and your choice, where, you know, that's, that's gonna, they can't, they can't, you know, uh, protect you from yourself. Okay. Uh, kind of thing is what I'm saying. Um, this means that they'll guide you away from certain energies. They'll guide you to set boundaries and stand your ground. The, you know, that's how Archangel Michael, you know, intuitively alerts you with your, the way your body feels, anxiety, it tenses up. This doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel right. This, uh-uh, there's something off here, right? Archangel Michael also um, uh, reveals to you by removing people's masks, okay, as well. Um, that's how protection comes in or they'll, um, Archangel Michael protect you by, you know, um, triggering this person or to, to, um, disappoint you over and over and over again. That that's another way that Archangel Michael is trying to let you know, I'm removing this from your life. <laughs> I'm removing this from your life. Okay. A let go, a situation no longer serves you. I do have some letting, let go affirmations on the community board for you. Okay. For everyone. Let go, align with unconditional love is up there as well. Worthiness affirmation is up there as well. Um, accept yourself. Um, all, all, all of the, the ones that's helping you to, to, to regain your, your energy, your power, right? Right here, peaceful warrior, right? Um, all of the ones that are, that are up there to, so you can align with abundance, align with your true self, align with unconditional love, align with divine love, align with self-love, all those affirmations for you to rewire and reprogram these thoughts, these thoughts here that are, that are intrusive, that comes, that comes in and, and, and tries to tell you, uh, you know, that that's putting, you have no fear here, you know, that's trying to put fear, uh, you know, doubts and all of that, trying to interrupt your manifestations here. Okay. So, and we have your thoughts are creating your reality, have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. Yeah. So, you know, th there, there is something you're being asked to release control and let go of the attachment and the expectations. The let go affirmations has been working like magic and wonderful for me. I listen to it every day. It's about maybe a little less than 30 minutes long. And um, you can listen to it at night when you're sleeping. This is not easy to do. That's why the affirmations are important. Um, it, it can really be, it can really help you to reprogram and recondition these, these thoughts here that are coming in. Okay. So that you can feel, you know, more safe as you more, feel more safe to, to have the courage to, you know, to stand your ground, to stand up for yourself and to also, you know, um, follow right. The inner voice and your intuition. Okay. What else for Aries here? What else for Aries for January? Again, that actually jumped. Take control of your thoughts. Huge, 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 huge message here, Aries, okay? Um, you are a master manifester, especially ruled by the crown. So, you know, um, <sighs> so it's telling me to ground your energy. You want to, okay, work with Archangel Metatron and ground your energy here, okay? Uh, look up all the different ways online to ground. Uh, a lot of times it's moving your body. It's eating, you know, eating helps to ground as well. Uh, grounding affirmations, grounding meditations, um, put your foot on the dirt for like 20 minutes a day. If you can, I know it's getting, it's cold in certain parts of the world. So that's why there are grounding affirmations and meditations that you can use root chakra as well. That's going to help you to stay focused. You also want to work with Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is the angel that's going to help you to clear the clutter of your mind as well. Um, there are Archangel Metatron meditations on YouTube, um, to, or you can just call them in, right? Um, going to help you to clear your mind as well and uh, organize your thoughts and give you the clarity here that you're seeking, okay? So 
Uh, so this is really important for you in January. And then you do have somebody here coming into your life. This person may already be in your life. They just might be showing up in, in, in a new version of themselves. We'll find out more. I am going to go back around and do the love reading for every sign. Um, right now, I'm just doing January. If love comes up, we'll talk about it. But I'm going to go deeper into love at, in the love reading. We have an, an, an important new relationship is on the horizon. This doesn't have to be love. This could also be a, a, a soulmate relationship relationship as in a friendship that's going to help you towards your healing journey so be open to receiving new people um they, that's how the angels help you they send you help through people okay um they sent they sent earth angels to to walk you home to help you know and to yourself right and and you them so there's a reason and a purpose for both of you guys meeting or coming into some kind of union. It is to help each other in some way. Open your mind and heart to the hap so that happiness can enter your life. So with open your mind and heart, I'm getting that there could be some limitations on, in the mind area and, and some restrictions or closed off heart here. And that's why this person is coming into your life. They're coming into your life so that your heart can open right um and your and, and so that your consciousness and your mind can expand as well so um definitely keep that in mind you may already have this person in your life um i, I remember when this card jumped for for my son's uh, girlfriend they had you know they they were their relationship were fairly new so they were it, so they were already in union when this card jumped. So there, it says that their union is soulmate union is very special union, right? It is kindred spirit here. And this is all happening because you are ready for more in your life. You're ready for expansion. Okay. And um, so very nice. What a beautiful energy here of growth and evolution. So count your blessings. All right, what else here for? Wow, I split the. You know what's so interesting? I was in meditation before your reading, and uh, and I was feeling the sun on my face while I was meditating, and I and I was like, wow, this feels so good. Um, how how beautiful that I'm doing fire sign today, right? And uh, and I'm feeling the sun on my face, so and it felt so good. It, it you know vitamin D, right? The sun is one of the things that helps to raise your vibration. So definitely take some time out to go spend some time in the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Open your heart to the enormous growth. We have here lion. This is this peaceful warrior here and standing your ground. Okay, harness the lawyer and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So, you know, there's something about protecting your energy, protecting your realm. Okay, you're in, you're all again protected, protecting, right? You're protected. Okay, the angels are surrounding you and guiding you, guiding you here inner voice right and protecting you on your spiritual journey okay you are safe to charge ahead okay what else is the energy so again the energy is really beautiful in january everybody's having a great start to the year let's keep this momentum going keep scripting your intentions and w as if you I, I am so happy and grateful that i have a brand new car parked in my driveway or whatever your intention is for yourself right i'm so happy and grateful that all my blessings and manifestations are coming in i'm so happy and grateful for this for, for my new job or whatever Whatever it is that you're trying to create a manifest for yourself right write it down script it okay what else here for aries for january we have oh look at that we have goals coming in here count your blessings count your blessings progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved so i just reached a goal um i start i started working out in the summer i even hired a trainer for a little bit and, um, and I had a goal. I wanted to lose 20 something pounds. Right. And I just weighed myself yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday that I weighed myself. And, um, I was celebrating the fact that I lost 23 pounds, um, in seven months. So from in the physical world, there's some kind of goal in the physical world because you stayed committed, right? Disciplined and devoted to it is being you know, you're going to have something to celebrate here, right? Count your blessings. 
Okay. <laughs> There's a, could be a money goal, a career goal, a, a workout goal, whatever it is. Pentacles here, coins it represents the material world. It might have something to do with your physical body, you know? So, and then we have here, uh, it feels like you're almost done with a challenging time in your life, but you know how it is, right? Sometimes, for, uh, for us to expand, ascend, evolve, grow, sh be stretched out of our comfort zone. Sometimes we have to face these chat. You know, you wouldn't have to harness the loyal, protective, uh, you know, strength of the lion or, uh, you know, feel called here to stand your ground on something here for you to grow, ascend, and evolve if there weren't, you know, some challenges, right, um, that we needed to you know, face to get, to get to that level of warrior spirit here. Okay. Weathering the challenges ahead, uh, will bring you a new, will bring in a new and positive future. Okay. So, all right, off to a, a beautiful start so far. Um, I, I have the monology here that I will pull in a little bit. This is a new addition to my, uh, January readings. I don't think I pulled monology for the other signs. So we have here, yeah, personal goals will be achieved and boss energy here, or you could be dealing with uh, an earth sign, uh, an emperor energy. I mean, I oh, why did I say emperor? You're the emperor. You could be dealing with a, 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 a somebody that is your match. There's no accidents here. Somebody that is your match, Aries. But right now, it's important that you pay attention to your intuition. It, and then it doesn't come in, it doesn't come as intrusive thoughts either that creates panic and anxiety. It's a soft whisper. It's a soft whisper, your intuition. It's gentle. It comes in soft. Okay. It, like a feeling, right? So you might want to Google or watch videos on the difference between intuition and, and, and fear-based thoughts that are not real, right? Look at the bottom of the deck. We have Gemini energy here. You can have that in your chart. Okay, for Aries, for January, what is the message? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Didn't I say slow down? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Uh, right in the beginning, the first thing I heard when I when I was connecting with your energy, I heard slow down. So also slow slow down your thoughts here. Okay, we have Virgo energy here. Uh, slow and steady towards these goals. And, and because the reason why is because you don't want to charge ahead towards anything because they're okay. They're, look, I can't make this stuff up family. I am in fire sign reading. So you're being asked to face some kind of emotions that could be coming up to you going through a transition and a transformation as well. Okay. Death there and ending. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So you don't want to charge ahead on, 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 on your way forward here because again, there's going to be some, you're going to run right into these thorns if you do that and get cut. So uh, slow down, meaning where it's, it, where we, it's not the time right now to be impulsive. So thorns, weathering the challenges ahead will bring you, will bring in a new and positive future. That's why it's important that you take your time here with whatever, wherever you're headed, your destination here. Okay. Um, if this is not you, if there's somebody in your energy, somebody here is coming in towards you and they're coming in very cautiously because they do know that, you know, it's going to be a challenge for some reason here. Okay. Um, I'm also getting this with this new person that's coming into your life. You also want to take it slow so we can build a solid foundation. This is a slow and steady energy, very slow. And it feels like it's the reason why you're being, you know, um, challenged here with this is because this connection here is going to, um, it's going to, it's very intense. It's, it's past life. And, um, and, and your emotions are going to, you're going to be in your emotions about it. Your emotions is going to be triggered <laughs> with this person. But spirit is saying, you know, plant those seeds, nurture it, take your time with this. Okay. With this new energy here. Uh, it's, it's an intense connection. And with, the, with every intense connection, um, uh, we, we want to, you know, um, kind of, it feels like we want to move it along. We want to rush. We want to spend all our times with them, you know, and this is going to be a connection that, um, if it's going to feel very familiar to you, it's past life, uh, true love. 
and you're going to need to make a, a choice or decision and love here when this comes in for you. But spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Your inner voice is really strong. If you're the queen of cups, right? Trust the into your intuition. You could be dealing with the water sign. It doesn't have to be, but again, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of feelings. Your intuition is very strong. Spirit wants you to know that when you make this decision, when it comes to this lover, for you to decide from your heart space, Aries, from your higher self, uh, this, this queen here is very nurturing, very loving, very forgiving, compassionate, kind, right? It, uh, this queen is also uh, very psychic and very intuitive, very creative as well. This is a, an earth angel and empath, okay? Maybe a very sensitive energy as well. So, um... So yeah, so it feels like, yeah, this is a past life relationship that's coming in to bring in a lot of balance into your life as well. This uh, this card actually came out in, um, um, not came out, I saw this card in meditation as well, right before your reading. What else for January for Aries? Yeah, see, page of, page, lots of fire here, page of wands and then we have the five of wands here okay the five of wands could be an inner struggle or this this could just be you know battle of wits as well right like a lot of control a lot of resistance a tug of war you know it could be because your mind and your heart may not be in the same place i'm going to clarify it right but there is going to be uh you know uh, good news coming in here okay a, flir a flirty, a flirtatious message for you regarding something here that you've been dealing with. Somebody may, they're moving cautiously here towards you, or this is you moving cautiously um, towards somebody here. Yeah, cautiously. <laughs> Lots of caution here. Somebody that's, uh, you know, wants to start something new. This is the beginning stages of something, learning uh, about someone here, paying attention to the details or just learning a new trade. Okay. A new skill and, and that you're being asked to take your time on. And this skill may have a lot of competition. This is work related in this field. So take the time to learn everything you, you need to learn what, yeah, you're ready for more in your career here as well. You're ready for more in all areas of your life. So, um, don't compare yourself. I'm getting here with others, you have your own unique gifts and talented, right? Um, so there's a, a need to, this could be two different energies here. Okay. But there's a need to take, let me, let me get more information because I'm getting a lot of messages. I got the 10 of the 10 of wands. That's this emotional upheaval here. This is the challenges that's ahead. So that's why spirit wants you to keep a positive mindset. Stay optimistic here. Okay. Um, and, and, and the emotional upheaval, it would feel something like this. This is burnout energy. This is striving, not, not having a lot of balance here. Okay. And the angels is trying to guide you here. Listen to your body through your body as well. The way your body feels, if you feel tired or fatigue or burnout, this could also be emotional upheaval, emotional exhaustion here of trying or of doing, take a step back and slow down. Can I have one for this page of wands? for Aries. This could be a new work opportunity here. But again, there you are, Aries, the emperor showing up for in your own spread in your own reading. Okay, you could be a masculine or a feminine. Okay. Um, it is important if you are a feminine for you to work on healing your mask. I'm sorry, your feminine energy, because th these control here, five of wands thoughts is very much masculine energy. Because feminine energy is is how you're gonna hear better here, okay? Uh, what 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 your guidance is uh, regarding this next stage, uh, or you could be dealing with another Aries as well. Um, but I did feel like this was two different people. I do feel like somebody here is coming towards you. Um, I feel like you're excited about this. Okay. And you want to move this along, but there are some challenges here. Okay. Uh, this person doesn't move fast at all. There could be an age difference as well. And I'm getting here that, um, this person brings out the youthfulness in you, your inner child. Even I did see that, uh, six of cups at the bottom of the deck, right? I feel like, um, this person makes you feel young again for some, uh, for, that's going to be for, 
not for everybody. <laughs> this is a general reading, by the way. Please take only what resonates and leave the rest for others. Yeah, so there's going to be some kind of harmonious change. There is a balancing act here. Um, when it comes to this, this, this is like, I'm getting like, yeah, I'm get this push and pull energy. Okay. Uh, battle of wits. Uh, also, um, I'm getting one person once you not there. There's two people here. That's not quite yet on the same page. I'm getting one person wants it to go this way. The other person wants it to go that way. Two different energies. We have fire and earth here very strongly. Okay. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, but this situation here is going to take a while for it for it to you know manifest and grow here it, it, this i i feel like this person is is uh trying to teach you patience as well there is a huge purpose for this person in your life uh can you give me uh, one for the five of wands what is this justice balance is needed here I'm also, wow, seven of swords in reverse. I didn't even, my deck is all upright. So somebody want, may want to, you know, offer you something more solid. Somebody that may have been holding back because of lack of consciousness, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy. But there is a lot of love here. This is new love. This is someone new that's entering your life. Okay, somebody wants to uh, do do the right thing here, offer you something more solid. Okay, um, with the seven of swords in reverse, this is like somebody's consciousness is kicking in. They they want to make things right with you. Okay, this is karma at play here. Um, they want to make things right with you. I'm getting, they want to be honest with you. So something here wasn't um, balanced. Okay, isn't balanced. And that's why justice is here. Justice is here uh, to bring truth and balance into the situation to, to balance out the karmic scales here. Okay. Because this energy here is not the best energy. Uh, this is people arguing, not getting along conflict, not seeing eye to eye, not being on the same page. Like I said, this connection is not balanced. Okay. And, um, that's why there's friction here with the five of wands. So, the, so the universe is, is, is guiding you here. And it's telling you to, to stand your ground on something, right? Also, uh, the universe is trying to tell you here that um, asking you, does this situation, you know, is it in alignment with your values, morals, and integrity, right? Is, is this the truth of your core and your soul of your heart space, not what your thoughts are telling you, what your heart is telling you, right? What your higher self is telling you. This is a card that you get what you give here. Okay. So it's like how you respond to situations like this is, um, basically what you're going to get in return back to you. Okay. We get what we put out here with when justice comes out. So something is, is going to be made fair here for you. Some of you guys could be going through some kind of ending or a divorce or a ending of some kind of karmic contract, but there is a contract coming in here for you, a soul contract with somebody, right? And um, I feel, I, I don't know why I heard peace offering. So when the justice comes out, the justice is talking about truth and honesty. Okay. The truth is coming out and, um, and, and whatever happened here that was unfair in your life, that was not just is being made right. Okay. That's why spirit wants you to just, uh, slow down, re release the reins here of your situation. Right. And, um, and allow for everything to unfold naturally and have faith and trust your angels in the universe right now. Uh, there, there's personal, your personal goals is being achieved when it comes to your, whatever this is, it could be finances or love or whatever goal you have in your life. Feels like it's physical world. Um, clarify the emperor for Aries here. Yeah, balance is needed and patience. I did say slow down earlier. There is an offer coming in, but again, this this is a, a very beautiful 
connection that's sent by the divine and the angels to teach you patience and balance to help to bring you back into harmony within you okay and bring balance into you a new so this is a new soul contract okay and um this this could be a mending even or a reconciliation if you already know this person um they're coming in you know a new energy here for you but it really is important that you take this slow okay um it really is this is a, a card of harmony and balance and inner peace and merging and mending reconciliation even but um i do feel like that's what's happening here you're you're because you showed up in in your own energy um as emperor here it's telling me that you know you are mastering yourself here you're in you're evolving and you're in your higher self you are taking authority and control over your life you could be you know starting businesses in your life right you could be you know um um stepping up you know creating a legacy in your life an empire you could be a, a mother a father here okay uh the, the head of your household and um you're just taking charge and taking the leadership of your life taking authority of your life and of your energy and you're coming into balance and harmony here right the angels are guiding you as we said earlier towards your goals towards your dreams so but the thing is it's important i feel like you are mastering patience we have sagittarius energy here i don't know if that's important to you but you are mastering patience okay yeah you're gonna get a victory here okay the second that you you release and you go through this transformation, this death process, and you release this burdens here, burnout, or this burdens of the past, or whatever baggage this is that slowing you down here when it comes to your transformation and your change, what uh, that you're experiencing, whatever you do, uh, release that through meditations, affirmations, you know, um, coming into balancing mind, body, soul, mind, body, spirit, right, with um, becoming whole, uh, full body here, right? Uh, whenever you do that, you're going to get a victory. Okay. Uh, all your hard work that you're putting in towards something here, you, you're going to get a lot of, um, attention for it. Okay. People are recognizing your change and your transformation, even in your life, you're going through changes right now. People are recognizing it and, um, and you're getting, you know, an offer coming in here. Okay. Um, I'm getting also somebody here wants your attention. You have the, the reef of victory here. So again, Again, whatever transformation that you're experiencing right now that you're going through it's it's victorious so again we have the five of wands here you're gonna win here with a victory right you have the six of wands so that's a victory after this battle right and the universe is 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 balancing out and and lining things up here for you so you just gotta trust the universe okay you have an offer coming in with a new person a new soul contract coming in for you and um and and it's coming in to help you to heal to help to bring harmony and balance into your life and peace this is going to be a very sacred peaceful connection this is a soulmate connection coming into your life or is in your life already um if this person is already in your life and it's because you found harmony and peace within right i do feel this page of wands i feel this page of wands could be you you know um I feel this is a completely different person, a completely different energy that's coming towards you, but this person is coming slow. And 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 it's like one taking one step at being this is more practical energy, more baby step energy, one day at a time energy. Let's get to know each other, let's learn more about each other, right? And um and it's going to light up your fire. It really, it really is going to inspire you even, okay? It's going to, it's going to bring you a lot of excitement. So you're going to be asked to temper that, temper that. It is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one for you. So this is a new soul contract. Yeah, split the deck could be a Sagittarius. We have luck is on your side right now. Yeah, everything, the, 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 the karmic scales is balancing out for you. What is what else is a message for Aries for January? There you are, Aries, showing up in your own reading. A fiery climax approaches. 
So, and then I see communication is key. So you're going to have, so communicate, stand your ground. You're being guided. Communicate your needs. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, read that from the, from the book here real quick, because um, the fiery climax means that you're going to need to, you know, stand your ground with something here. Okay. Upcoming. Full moon. And Aries 68. So this energy, which is your energy, says being assertive is good. Just don't, just don't ride uh, roughshod over anyone. So again, I stand my ground with peace. So you could be, you, you might get triggered, right? But how you react is going to be the karma you're going to get. Spirit is saying to have patience. Have patience, okay? If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be, <laughs> it actually really says that. Don't be a baby. But this could be the issue. You need to have more fun, okay? So um, so this, the, this full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. You're going to go through some kind of emotional upheaval here in January. Um on the upside, there's excitement about what may lie ahead, but tempers are likely to flare five of wands with, with rash comments or decisions. No matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just, or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be price to pay if you have too much competitive, if you have been too competitive or too blunt. That's this right here. It can be too competitive or too blunt, okay? So you're being asked to temper yourself this month, okay? And um, stand your ground with peace. Um, yeah, that is the message for you. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and com communicate clearly with love. So work on your heart chakra, work on your sacral chakra. This is just, it feels like it's a misunderstanding, a miscommunication, people getting triggered and lashing out even. Okay. So remember karma is always watching and this, whatever this is, that's coming in here is coming in to bring you justice so that you can get some kind of closure. Okay. On a situation perhaps, um, or so, or so that you, an opportunity for you to forgive. Okay. So, um, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. And, um, thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing and for donating to the channel and scheduling readings with me. I love you all. God bless you. <coughs> Namaste. Much love. And I'll see you guys for the love reading. And also don't forget to check out your other placements to get the full picture. See you next time, Aries.